make sure you guys hit the join button and become a member of the channel today and earn exclusive perks. Click on the join button today. Get into the Christmas spirit with a limited edition Valence Ugly Christmas Sweater. Buy it now. Links will be in the description below. What's going on guys? It's Valence and I'm back with another video and I hope you guys are having a great day today. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video and also leave a comment. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Fortnite on your low end PCs. So this will work on your PC and your laptop. If you guys are watching this and you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so then we can get closer to 40k. Can we hit 1000 likes? All the links will be in the description for all the files used in this video. So let's jump into the video. So as always, make sure you guys follow all the steps in the video. Go to the search bar in the bottom left corner, type in percent app data percent then hit enter and once you guys are in the folder at the top press on app data go to local scroll down until you see fortnite game open that up go to saved go to config go to windows client and open up game user settings if it doesn't open up automatically, right click and open up with notepad. Once you guys are in here, you guys are gonna see a whole bunch of text. Just follow each step and you guys will be good. First off, motion blur should be on false. Change show grass to false. Show FPS, you guys can turn that on or off if you guys want. Make sure use vsync is on false. And for the resolution X and Y, I'll have a link in the description with different resolutions for you guys to try. In the link, you guys are gonna find a list of different resolutions that you guys can try to optimize your FPS on Fortnite. For this video, I'm gonna be using 800 by 600. So for X, type in 800, and for Y, type in 600. And for last confirmed resolution, type the same thing. Now go to desired screen width and height. Change that to the same number you set before. In this case, it's 800 by 600. And set 800 by 600 for this part too. Now you guys are going to scroll down until you see scalability groups. Set your view distance quality to 1, anti-aliasing to 0, shadow quality to 0, post processing to 0, texture quality to 0, effects and quality to 0. And for resolution quality, you guys can choose numbers between 10 and 30. In this case, I'll use 25. And foliage quality, set that to 0. Now you guys just need to close and make sure to save your file. 